Hi, it's the Rossum Vegan Gal here, and today I am doing part six of my videos for a brand called Farger Project. I mean, this is going to be the last video for right now, but in the future I will be doing some more. Uh, hopefully, uh, uh, be able to, because there's so many different great products that they offer. And I hope you've had a chance to look at the other videos. And uh, so this one, and I will also have a link below uh, to their website. You can check out all they offer because they offer some wonderful, really great products. And they keep innovating and coming out with new things. So I'm really excited about that. So this is their organic coconut cashew milk, unsweetened vanilla, full fat. So it's got 3.5 grams of MCT which is medium chain uh, triglycerides per serving. It's a dairy-free milk alternative. It's 48 fluid ounces. Um, there's only one gram of sugar per serving, and it's USDA certified organic. There's no sugar added. It's gum-free. It's lactose-free. It's gluten and soy-free, um, and the company's been around, I mentioned this before, since 2013, and they're California crafted, made with plants. They also have eight grams of good fats per serving. And also, um, what else I didn't tell you here is they are certified kosher, certified vegan. It's a perishable, so you want to keep this refrigerated. And it says, shake well, separation is natural, enjoy within seven days of opening. And I like what they write here, holy cashews. Here's your creamy, dreamy, dairy-free milk. Thoughtfully crafted from simple organic ingredients, one sip and you'll bail on bovine, which means dairy um, and really honestly no one should be drinking milk I know people do even organic milk because we're not meant to look like cows if you know the history of you know of dairy as far as um, well, not really history but as far as like when you know calves drink milk they drink it uh, because they grow really large and we do not grow that way we're not supposed to grow that way so I'm not uh, somebody who does promote it and I've been vegan for almost 30 years, so uh, it's off my uh, list of things to consume. So this one's got coconut and cashew milk, also natural flavors, tapioca, gluten-free oats, vanilla extract, and sea salt, so no sugar added at all. And it's got um, eight ounce uh, per serving, um, but you don't have to drink the whole thing, and I'll tell you there's different ways you could use it too. Um, and it's got uh, just a little bit of protein, calcium 2%, potassium 2%, so um, it's mostly that it has the good fats in it, which is 8 grams, um, 6 grams of saturated fat, but again, don't forget, it's good fat, so I don't look at that as a problem. No sodium, uh, no, I mean, very little sodium, uh, only 10 milligrams, so it's really 0%, um, and only 1 gram of sugar, and that's not actually occurring, it's not added sugar, so, um, so that's that. So I'm going to shake this up, this is a really nice big bottle. So, um, and the other thing is that... Um, what you can do with this is you don't, and I think I mentioned dairy-free because it is dairy-free. <laughs> it says it on the top. Uh, I did mention that. Um, so you could drink it as is, just as a beverage. Um, you could also use it as a base for so many different things. I mean, it's endless what you can use this for. You know, you could use this for your cereal. You could use this for a smoothie. You can even use this for a soup, whether it's a cold soup like a gazpacho or a hot soup. Um, you can pour this over like fruit. I'm sure it's kind of like thick and creamy. You can use it as a base for desserts if you make any kind of puddings. So basically it can go any way. Sweet, savory, you could use it as a, a base for a sauce, whether we're a sweet sauce, a savory sauce, a tangy sauce, a spicy sauce. So it's really endless what you can do with this. So I'm gonna open this bottle up and I'm gonna shake it up again. Because once you open it, it kind of releases some of the air. But make sure when you shake it up that the covers really close well. So, But they do make other ones. They do make other ones that are sweetened. And I think they might be sweetened dates. Um, I'm not sure. But I wanted to just opt for the unsweetened one. And I'll give it a pour in this little cup here and take a drink. And see what I think. <laughs> well, I like all their other products, so I don't have a doubt. Mm, yummy. I could smell, I actually was able to smell the vanilla as I was pouring it. So they use vanilla extract. I believe they don't use actually real vanilla bean. So I would like real vanilla bean. I've seen that in some products, but I guess it's a more um, timely process. So it's not super thick. It's meant as a beverage. It's not like a yogurt or, you know, um, the other products I've used. But it does taste nice. It's nice and refreshing. Very mild flavor because, again, it has no sweetness. It, sweetener added to it. So the other thing is if you like it sweet, 
you can always add to it, you know, something, you know, I don't use honey, but if you would, probably better option would be raw honey, or things like um, coconut nectar, there's date nectar, there's coconut crystals, people use maple syrup, um, but I stay with the more natural, or even if you had dates and you blended up dates, uh, like I said, if you're making a smoothie and you're adding this to that, that would be a nice thing. So if you wanted to add sweetness to it, or stevia, people call it stevia, it's actually stevia, that's another story, but I've done a video quite a number of years ago when I first started this channel um, on uh, different on things like that, and I called it Sugar is Not a Food Group, um, <laughs> and it talks all about the different types of sugars, but um, anyway, so yeah, if you wanted to sweeten it up, you could do that, or make like a chocolate milk out of it, you know, add either cacao powder or carob powder. So really, the, the the options are endless, what you can do with this, and, you know, it's an enjoyable thing to drink. Um, it's a great alternative, and it also looks similar to milk because of the white color, but you're not getting all those um, things that your body doesn't need to nourish it, because this is where you get your more your nourishment in, in products like this. So again, this is the Forager Project, Organic Coconut Cashew Milk Unsweetened Vanilla, and it's a 48 ounce bottle. It's a dairy free milk alternative and I hope you'll definitely try it out. And I thank you for watching. It's the Rawsome Vegan Gal.